welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. When last we left off, I was pretty sure I was about to go into a boss fight in the Orbone Monastery. We had a really big, rough fight with uh, Islude. He was an extremely good lancer, except he wasn't a lancer. He was some other class, but he just jumped a lot, and he didn't ever showed me what his other class could do. So, I don't know. No! Let go! Islude, leave this to me. You gotta get out of here with that girl. You! Come on, this way! Help me! Brother Ramza! Here's Ramza. It would be a fatal mistake to underestimate them. Don't let your guard down. Defeat Wygrath. Neluda, finally I can avenge your death. Where, where am I? Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. Oof! Alright, well, he's just right there. All I have to do is defeat him? I mean, like, I'll just hit him with everything I got. That ought to do it. <laughs> he's only got so much health. I mean, if I had to get through all of his minions first, sure, but it doesn't seem like I do. He just rushed me. He took out Agrius, so that's bad. Wygraf! You're still alive! Been a long time, Remza. Glad to see you again. You've become a dog for the church. You've forsaken your ideals. You don't understand how hard it is to fulfill your ideal. Even if your ideal is great, it's just a dream if you can't fulfill it. So how can you fulfill it? You need power! That's the politics of the world. I can see it clearly now. You can't fulfill your dreams without power. You say I'm a dirty dog of the church. Go ahead. I don't care. You can despise me, but I'll be laughing at the end. You'll all submit to me. Okay. Whee! No, thank you. Rans, Rans fars away now. Oh, uh, yeah? Let's not do that and say we did. Oh, great. <laughs> 160. Tight. Holy crap! Thank you, Jump and Summoner. Ugh! No! I won't lose! I'm a member of Zodiac Braves! With Ares! I can't lose like this! Where are you? Why, Graf? God, I'm glad that the I just had to beat Wygraf to beat that mission. Like, wow! It went super south super fast. Like, I would not have been able to take on him and minions. Like, that was not going to be a thing. 220. Are you okay? Why, Graf? Don't worry about me. Just go. 
Alma! Go, Islude. Sorry, Wygraf. Wait! Islude! <laughs> Damn. I can't die here. I can't face my dead allies without avenging the Luna. No, I don't want to die. Holder of the Holy Stone. Promise me. What? The stone spoke? Holder of the Holy Stone. Promise me. Your spirit will unite with my flesh. To live forever. Is this the stone's secret? Your despair and resentment called me. Now promise. No! Wygraf! Don't open that! Help me. Stone's power. Wygraf. Ramsay, its power is magnificent. No, not just the power. Centuries of knowledge ingrained into my brain. <laughs> Easy. Save some for later. <laughs> superb, superb power. Simon, can you hear me? H here. What is this book? Germanic. A disciple of St. Majora wrote it. It had been missing until I found it in the underground library. It explains in detail about the Zodiac Wave story. Please, don't try to talk. That's alright. I'm a sinner. I knew of the church's wrongdoing, but said nothing. You can bring them to justice with this book. You can bring Alma back with this book. Simon! Whew. Now I can finally rest. Take care of the rest, Ramza. You're just like Balbanes when he was young. Simon! Oh no! Simon died! Poor old dude. He didn't do anything wrong. I mean, except for that he knew that the church was doing wrong things. He didn't say anything. Well, that's... That's a wrong. But... <laughs> hey, we're out! Oh my god, I apparently need to grind. <laughs> oh, jeez Louise. Did you see the levels of those enemies and how much damage they dealt? And just... Wow! Not good. Need to grind, need to buy a whole bunch more samurai swords. If I want to use the samurai swords, at least, I need to buy a bunch more. Um, right now, I only need a bunch of the first two, which should be semi-cheap, but I need, like, five of each sword, I would say. Because um, I use abilities a lot. I don't just attack very commonly. I guess there's no reason to be looking. We got nothing. I got some job... I got some Lancer job points. That's it. Not 900. So... Blah. Well, that was actually a really, really fast mission. Because it was literally two turns. Or like, three or four turns. So, I'm gonna do whatever comes next as well.
which I figured the moment I got to Dorter something would happen, because otherwise I don't know where to go anymore. So I'm just hoping that it isn't... Honestly, I'm actually hoping it isn't a battle, so that I can kind of recuperate. Because apparently I really need to grind, like I said. Like, wow! Oh, she's disappointed in the rain. I like rain. Ah! Oh. Heretic Ramza? Where is Alma? If you want her back, come to Riovain's castle. But you must bring the Germanic scriptures given to you at the monastery. What does it mean to you? Haven't you read it? No. No, not yet. This is an important book. A blissful ignorant. Your life's in danger, and yet you don't even realize the importance of the book. Well, no matter. You've been warned. Was I able to? This is just like what's happened so far. Treasure? Germanic scriptures. There we go. Record of Saint Ajora, written by his disciple Germanic. It was supposed to be a lost book. I can read it. Oh. Ooh. I picked up the Germanic scriptures Simon gave me and flipped through the pages. The text was in an ancient holy script with drawings and places. It was damaged and hard to read. I wondered what was written in it. Then I saw some words in a language I recognized. Somebody had written some notes in the Aikoku language. Who could have done it? Judging from the ink, older notes were written years ago, but the newer ones were written only days ago. It smudged when I rubbed it. Well, don't do that! The ink was not yet dry. They were written by the same person. I realized Simon had been slowly translating this book over the years. I tried reading it by referring to his partial notes. It says, This is written by a follower of Saint Ajora, Germanic. Germanic? I had heard that name before. It must have been in history class. Then it came to me. Germanic was the disciple who betrayed Saint Ajora by selling him to the Eudora Empire. It was amazing Germanic's book was even still in existence. Calming myself, I turned the pages. Then, I found something more amazing than a historical legacy in my hands. I thought Germanic compiled St. Ajora's words in this book, but I was wrong. I fixed that word up there. It, it says I though, but it, it was wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> Apparently this game has more typos in it than I knew, but they're like all hidden away outside the story. They're all in like the, the optional story bits. Like the rumors have had weird issues with them and stuff like that, but eh, whatever. The game is not perfect. It's a record of St. Ajora's activities. And not the St. Ajora we know. A record of Ajora human. First off, Saint Ajora is not human. I'm not a true believer in Glavados like Zalbag, but I do believe Saint Ajora was a child of God sent from heaven to save this troubled world. Rather, I should say, I 
did believe. Until I read this book. It was the golden age, when many airships flew all over the sky. The day St. Jorah was born in Bervenia of Lasalia, he stood up, walked to the well, and said, Calamity will come from this well soon. We must seal it so people don't drink the water. Days later, plague swept over Bravenia. The people who drank the tainted water died. But the only family who believed him didn't get sick and survived. Since then, people called him Miracle Child, Child of God. When St. Adora turned 20, he became a savior and was sent to heaven as a member of God. Long before Ivalice was united, it was divided into seven small kingdoms. Zeltenia, Fovoham, Lionel, Limberry, Lasalia, Galloween, and Marone. As the kingdoms continued to increase their territories, the wars continued. In the several hundred years of war, an ambitious young king was born in Morand. Though he led an army large enough to cover Ivalice, the way to victory was long and hard. Using the secret method from an ancient book, the king tried to summon an evil spirit and use its power. But the evil spirit killed the king and tried to destroy the world. One brave with twelve followers collected zodiac stones from all over the world and revived them. They destroyed evil in an instant and succeeded in sending the evils back to Hades. This is how they became saviors. That's the zodiac braves legend. Ever since, every time the world is in danger, they appear, save the world, and disappear. When St. Ajora was alive, similar things occurred. The king of Limberry summoned an evil spirit to take over Ivalice. The world once again fell into crisis. St. Ajora collected twelve holy stones, just like the legend, formed the Zodiac Braves, and killed the evil. But heroes are always a nuisance to rulers of a country. The Eudora Empire was afraid of Adora, who, had, who was gaining power, announcing the arrival of God's kingdom. Eudora sent troops against one of his sects. The priests of Farah, the largest sect then, were afraid of St. Adora's power. He was caught and executed at Gol Golgorand, execution grounds, after Germanic hold of his whereabouts for money. One second, I'm gonna sneeze. My apologies, that might happen again, so I might have to mute myself every now and then. I feel like my allergies are getting worse, but, you know. Not gonna stop me from playing this great game! But Saint Ajora was a child of God, and the priests of Fara were smitten by an angry god. After the execution, the base at Fara, Morand, Morand sunken by various natural disasters. This is how Saint Ajora was sent to heaven as a child of God, and became a member of God. And that's all I know. All anyone in Coco knows of the myth of Saint Ajora. But the Saint Ajora in the Germanic scriptures was a totally different person. Ajora was not a child of God, but a human, just like us. An ambitious revolutionary who fought to fulfill his dream. Moreover, he loved peace, and was not a hero who risked his life for others. 
This is what Germanic wrote. A founder of an advanced new religion, Ajora was a threat to the Empire. But Ajora had another side to him, other than being a priest. He was a spy who entered enemy territory, agitating and gaining information. Anyhow, Ajora was a threat to the Empire. The Empire sent Germanic to find proof that Ajora was a spy. Yes, Germanic was also a spy of the Empire, watching Ajora's activities. They say Ajora tried to revive the Zodiac Braves. Germanic found some holy stones to prove it. But what does that have to do with Reformation? I don't know if young King Limberry really summoned an evil spirit. At least, nothing's written about it in the book. However, it's a fact that Moran met with a natural disaster and sunk into the sea at the time of Majora's death. This is where Simon's notes were most interesting. They appeared to be his personal opinion. Despite rumors of its existence, no one ever saw the Germanic scriptures. I don't know whether the book tells the truth or fabricates Ajora's great achievements. When I was a heresy examiner for the church, many examiners felt afraid to show the people the book. The high priest probably felt the same because everything the book said was true. After Ajora's death, the church had to unite St. Ajora with God, making him divine. To do that, unsuitable facts had to be deleted from history, and St. Ajora had to become a child of God. They were wise to use the Zodiac Brave story, widely believed in Aikoku. It was easy to make people believe the Zodiac Braves, led by Ajora, killed an imaginary evil spirit. When I read this book, or when I read this book, I lost my faith. But I'm not sad, because it inspired me to search for the truth. Poor old guy. At the same time, I'm guilty for not bringing it to light, even though I knew the church was lying. Why? Because if I told people about the book, I was afraid they would take the library away from me. Oh. <laughs> I would have been devastated if the library was taken away from me because it satisfied my thirst for knowledge. But my curiosity got the best of me. Simon spoke of an imaginary evil. But I sensed a scheme by someone other than the high priest. After seeing the berserk power of the holy stones. Ugh. Man. I think we can look back and see. No? what that is. You must find the truth on your own. I'll help you anytime you need. Okay, thanks, Owl's Lamb. I don't know who the heck you are, but thanks. I have a good amount of money. I do. But I still feel like I need to go grind, because the enemies were way higher level than me. Like, way, way, way higher level. And I don't like that, so... Ooh. A wizard rod. Magic plus two! What? Gold staff! That actually seems really bad. It hits harder. It's got an attack power of six. Flame whip! That's not a... Fire element. Does fire two on hit, too. That's a good squire weapon. 
kind of want to get Bard available. What's the scroll for? Oh, dancers. Cool. Cool. Diamond shields. Black hoods now. Uh, it doesn't give any MP, but it's still there. Power sleeve. Physical attack power plus two. Oh, it's so good. There's some good stuff here now. There's a new ladies bag. Simple but fashionable bag. Always have Regan. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. A lot of stuff here is pretty good. Um, but for now, just for like grinding purposes. That's 8,000 gil. Bam. Kotetsu. I want five of those. That's 15,000 gil. There goes tons of my money to basically get a bunch of abilities. Um, the Murasame, I think, is the healing one. I'm not sure though. Um, I'm currently using it though, so I don't think it actually even counts as being something I can do. Um, the Bison Bow, I know I only have one of. Um, I'm using the Heaven's Cloud. Um, I need a Wizard Rod, but I'm gonna do like a fitting room for that. Um, right here. Try it on. No longer the Wizard Staff, but the Wizard Rod. It's better by one. So there you go. Fitting over. 8,000 go, yes. Um, I don't think anybody in my team is using- oh no wait, she is, that's right. You need to do like a best fit kind of thing. Okay, it wants you to get the pee bag. That's not gonna happen. But a power sleeve is. I am going to buy you a power sleeve and I am, I think, gonna buy you a black- wait. Ooh, that gives physical attack power plus two. I did not know that. It's only 16 more health. I'd rather have physical attack power plus 2 than 16 more health. I'm, I'm down for that. Are you okay, puppy? You're over there itching yourself. Are you not having problems, are you? You're not reacting to something, are you? I'm a little worried about my dog now. Um, yeah, we'll do fitting over. Um, I need to do some grinding. So we had a lot of story time there. So I'm gonna save and quit here. Um, I am actually gonna quit. It's pretty much time for me to go to bed, anyways, and my allergies are killing me. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna quit. And uh, when we come back, uh, more Final Fantasy Tactics. When it happens, it happens. And I'll see y'all then. Have a good one.